Tesla, they're basically saying some pretty crazy stuff here, right? Tesla say that its new supercomputer, Dojo, will have four times the processing power and speed of the world's fastest supercomputer, the Quantum Supremacy A3, built by Google. Google says its new quantum supercomputer would take around six seconds to do what its previous supercomputer would take 47 years to achieve. Its new supercomputer is said to have enabled Google to have the power of quantum supremacy. Many people questioned that four years ago when Google made those claims. Today, the doubters are gone. It appears as though this is a true fact. Progress towards fully capable and practical supercomputers or quantum computers is not slowing down. It's speeding up. Researchers from Google are the latest to announce a significant step forward in the capabilities of today's machines. Google has been asked, how much did your supercomputer cost? They have yet to give a direct response, but most experts estimate it costs between 80 to 100 million US dollars. Well, Tesla have just announced they're going to spend $1 billion on their latest supercomputer. If Google's quantum computer is the fastest, power, most powerful computer on the planet, and it costs around $100 million, what does that mean for Tesla's new supercomputer, which will cost $1 billion? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. If you just subscribed to the channel, great to have you. If you've been around for a long time, great to have you as well. So what does this mean for the future of computing? I have no idea because you know what? No one really understands what's going on with these supercomputers, even the people working on them. And it's a little bit like the Manhattan Project. They have all these different divisions, right? Different divisions do different things. I don't think anyone fully understands everything that's going on there. However, what we do know is this. Tesla's supercomputer is being made for one single purpose, to train Tesla's child. Tesla's child is its limited AI, its artificial intelligence, not its AGI, which is artificial general intelligence, but I mean its artificial intelligence, which is its neural network, which is growing. And it's sort of like a child becoming more and more intelligent as it learns more and more. However, it's a big bottleneck, says Elon Musk, is growing at a much slower rate than what Tesla want. However, with a $1 billion supercomputer, well, that's about to change big time. To achieve level five autonomy, Tesla needs, well, basically quantum computing. The company is investing a billion US dollars in its new supercomputer. Production begins this year. The supercomputer will provide fast training of Tesla's neural network. This means faster development and progression towards full self-driving autonomy. When I say faster, I mean, well, a lot faster. The new cameras, which are integral to full self-driving for Tesla, have nearly five times the resolution of Tesla's previous cameras. In addition, Tesla have added an additional camera to full self-driving version four. However, by the time you're watching this video, well, they are unquestionably working already on full self-driving version five chip. Now, combine that chip with what will likely be much better cameras and faster processing with a far better neural network could be, could be five times better by then. And it's almost certain, in my opinion, that hardware five in say 18 months time will enable Tesla cars to drive independently by themselves. During the Q2 2023 earnings call, Musk talked about the development of a full self-driving beta. He said that to achieve level five autonomous driving, high computer power is needed. Blazing fast computer power. This would provide faster rapid training of Tesla's neural network. And until recently, this has been a fundamental limitation of Tesla's progress, but that's clearly about to change. The fundamental rate limiter on the progress of full self-driving is training, said Musk. If we had more training compute, we could get it done faster. Tesla recently gave an update on the production of its Dojo supercomputer. During the call, Musk went into further detail. He said the company would soon begin production of its training computer. 
According to the plan, it should take place sometime in July. However, there will, of course, as usual, with Tesla be some delays. Tesla is intending to spend more than a billion dollars on Dojo for capital expenditures and research and development. And the company is already running a large supercomputer powered by NVIDIA GPUs. However, the new Dojo is being built to order using Tesla designed chips. Kind of trying to match the chips with what's in the cars to some degree. Musk said that Dojo would be capable of an exaflop or one quintillion floating point operations per second. Tesla expects Dojo to deliver 100 exaflops by October 2024. Now, to give you an idea of the power, the immense power of Dojo, well, I personally can't really imagine it. It's so insane. But think about this. This new computer will be able to do in one second what a regular desktop computer from today would take billions of and billions of years to complete. That's assuming it was still running in billions of years from today. Google's new supercomputer that has achieved quantum supremacy has 26 exaflops. This means Tesla's new supercomputer will have more than four times the speed of Google's fastest computer in the world. This means that Tesla's new Dojo supercomputer will have, well, basically four times the speed of the current fastest supercomputer in the world. That's insane. What are your thoughts on all of this? Do you think Tesla will go out and achieve full self-driving when it's armed with these, with this new technology? I think it's highly likely. Now, I'm not saying that I think it's going to happen this year. I think it's probably going to happen by the end of next year. That's what I'm calling. Hey, I could be wrong. What do you think though? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.